So for today, we're going to be looking at fishing. Bungie released fishing for Destiny 2, which is really, really cool. And a little thing you guys probably don't know about me. I love fishing in games. I think it's just a lot of fun. Granted, it's a lot of just downtime of just you waiting to catch something. But it's like one of my favorite activities in a game just because sometimes you don't want to do anything crazy. Sometimes you just want to chill, relax, talk in the chat and do whatever you want. So, and I say this as someone who loves to fish, not only in World of Warcraft, but Warframe as well. Both of those games have fishing and it's done really, really well. I think Warframe probably still has one of the better fishing just because it's actual like spear fishing. You see the fish, you like fucking spear it and get it. I think that's super cool. Not saying uh, the other ones suck. It's just like most of the time it's usually just cast the line and wait until something bites and then just catch it. I think that's fine. Um, but for Destiny 2, we're going to be looking at how to actually get started with it, which you get it from a quest. Once you get the quest, it's just going to tell you to get 20 bait. Uh, for this one, you can do a lot of things. I would personally just tell you to either do it through getting a planetary material because you get one per material. What I ended up doing was I just did one salvage and then it brought me to 19 and then I went to the EDZ and grabbed literally one of the material and then i was done after that it's going to tell you to go to each of the planets uh to to fish five fish that's it it's going to ask you i think it's edz nessus and then um um witch queen which is uh the the throne room throne whatever uh once you get all i think it's three it might be missing one planet maybe but i'm pretty sure it's just the edz nessus and uh the throne world so once you're done with all that, you're going to throw your fish into this one big thing in the helm. And that's pretty much it. After that, you're just going to start fishing. I don't know what the like actual rewards in game are, because I know for a fact that at least for me, knowing Bungie, our only re reward will most likely be triumphs. So I have actually already got in some exotic fish and I have completed the EDZ fish list and the rewards are pretty good uh, just from the fish side. I still don't know if we get like an emblem, shader, armor. I highly doubt it since, you know, that actually takes effort. So as for the actual rewards for the fish themselves, exotics fish will actually award you with an exotic and an ascendant shard, which is pretty nice. Not all the time, but the ascendant shard I got like quite reliably. So if you want to go that route instead of doing GMs, that's a really good way because again, uh, once you get that fishing meter up all the way, you get those exotic fish and it's really, really good. Legendary fish will get you legendary items. So essentially like from what I have seen, I've gotten a lot of the legendary weapons from this season, um, which is pretty good. And then everything else just awards you reputation. At least that's what I've seen. So the fish rewards themselves are actually really, really good. I really do enjoy them. And I was talking about this with my clan leaders. I wish we ended up getting like a fish angler armor. I feel like that would have been really cool. Like imagine like just a fish angler or like how, how you would expect a dad that's into fishing to look like. I feel like that would have been really cool because that would have been not only links or armor set, that would have been really cool, but I don't know. It just would have fit the theme a little bit better. Uh, granted, uh, it probably would have been an Eververse set because let's be honest, uh, you can't get anything for free in Destiny 2 without paying for it. So, you know. It's just annoying because uh, I would have just preferred something like that. Something that you can feel like you actually own it because while I do think the, the aquarium is nice, we're not going to keep it forever. Uh, the ED or the helm is like such a pseudo player home because it's not really a player home because it does change seasonal seasonally. And I would have much preferred like a Warframe home where your ship is your home and you can do it however you want because at that point like people literally have not only is it fashion frame which is just the fashion of your warframe but it's also the fashion of like your home because you can definitely like customize it and if you get far enough into the store you actually get a new version of the of the of the home i guess you would say you either get like the regular ship home or you get the I don't want to spoil it, but it's another home version of it where it's in two pieces and it's really cool. So I don't know. That's pretty much it. It'll most likely just be stuff in here. So we'll probably get some trophies because if you guys don't know in the actual stuff, you see the the old artifacts from back in the day, like that season of the lost season of the haunted 
There's a season of the chosen, season of the seraph. Um, that season of fucking something. And I think that's it. At least that's the ones I've I've noticed so far. I'm pretty sure once you actually turn in the fish, those fishes that you see right now, all the fish that I've collected so far. So it's really cool. I really, really like it. I just wish we there was actual like rewards that were like felt, if that makes any sense. So like here is the fishing and let's see. So aquarium decoration, golden age statue, aquarium decoration, vex dwelling, um, equal equine statue an anchor cannon secret that's cruel and then that's 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 it like i feel bad for the people who actually go for triumphs but actually i don't even know if most of these triumphs have like points to them either way people usually like to complete their triumphs i don't i really don't give a slight shit anymore um we have some secret triumphs so hopefully we can get something cool because like I know people are gonna be like you you're asking for too much Tony but I would eat I would love if we had like a fishing armor like it doesn't even have to like give us stats or anything but I definitely would love it if it was just like you have a higher chance to get like this fish or you have a higher chance to get an exotic fish and I would have loved it if it came in, into the actual appearance menu so that way like let's say I really like the helmet I could at least put it on like right here and then it'll be the fishing helmet um or and this this sucks to say but like a fucking sparrow I, I would have been like okay that's cool uh even though it's not the same as other games because like in world of warcraft for example um there's this one place in legion which is an expansion where we could grind for this material and once you had enough material you could actually trade it for a for a fish for a mount and it's really cool because that mount actually made you go faster in the water. You could either swim or you could get on the fish and actually go a little bit faster. So it's nothing too crazy because it's not like, oh my God, I'm going so much faster. It's like literally like 10% faster or something like that. And I just really am mad that sparrows don't hold the same weight as mounts do in other games because mounts is like a really big thing in other games. I definitely need to make that video because I don't think I don't think a lot of Destiny 2 players just know how important a mount is in other games. So let me know what you guys think. I really, really like the fishing. Like, I really just want to say that out right now. I think the fishing is super cool. I think the fact that it takes you out of fishing when a public event is out is kind of annoying because uh, I just want to fish and have no interruptions, but whatever. But yeah, I know there's one in the EDZ, which is down here, all of the outskirts, which is cool. There is one in Nessus, which is down here as well. Fishing pond. So it's all going to be in the cistern, most likely. And then one in the throne world, which is up here. So the fishing pond up here. So these are really cool. Um, I would like to see a lot more planets get fishing. I think that would be really cool. Like Cosmodrome would be pretty funny to fish in, considering this is an old Destiny 1 map. And it getting like fishing would be funny to me. Uh, Europa would be really cool. Some Europa themed fish would be cool. I don't even know if there's water in Europa now that I think about it. Um, Neptune would be really cool as well. I'm surprised Neptune didn't... Get, I don't even think... Is water in Neptune? I don't even remember. Uh, either way, it doesn't even have to be water because this is... That's not water. It's fucking Vex milk that we're fishing in. So it doesn't even have to be water. It just has to be like some sort of liquid. Uh, Dreaming City would also be really cool because it could be like taken fish. I'm like... I like I, I It's very unfortunate because I think the fishing is going to be like... Just, okay, that season of deeps, uh, all the seasons are over. Next expansion's out, fishing's gone. Because I think fishing would be really cool to have as not like a main playlist. I'm not saying fishing next to like the Vanguard playlist, but it would be a cool thing to add little cool rewards. Like maybe we get a cool shader. Maybe we get we get a really cool armor set. Hell, I would even, even go for, so far as to say at least like give us one armor piece a season so that we can complete a whole fishing thing that seat that like that expansion that would be cool like i'm really just asking for scraps at this point so let me know what you guys think about the fishing i love it let me know what you guys think other than that be safe and i will see you guys later